Okay, well, the bus has only just gone by. I've got several hours. There is a way up to, onto um, Draycott's lights here, look. See? There is a, a way up, but because I'm a bit knackered and I haven't I don't want to rush if I ever did this in the future, which I might do. Um, I'm not going to do it today because I've already climbed up that Nylon Mound and that was quite strenuous. So although this is an old post that says Cheddar Look, two and a quarter miles. Um, and there's Drake got slight um, up the top there, my farm, strawberry farm here, Nylon Mound over there, look. I've just come up the little lane to join Top Lane. So, in many ways, because I am um, haven't done it before, I don't mind. Oh, personally, I, I would always go that way, right? But <clears throat> I'm going to do this as so I'm thinking of it as exploring. I mean, it's dangerous because it's, we get nutters about. So it is dangerous, but look at that lovely view of Nylon Mound over there from here. The farms I passed earlier. You can't see the trig point from this side. I'm sure there's some nice walks in the wood there as well. So it could be worth saying to yourself, hmm, come back another way, another time. Now this top road should take me to something what's called Bradley Cross. Not yet, not for about a mile I would have thought, if not a mile and a half. It's not far from Cheddar. I would have just missed a bus. Um, I wasn't, there wasn't a bus stop where I emerged so I couldn't, I knew it would, it would bound to have come along if I tried to get back to the bus stop. So basically what I'd done, I thought I want to explore. I wouldn't want to bring Albert up here. Can, can you guess why? There's no cut out, no, no indentations and I wouldn't want to keep having to reverse her. There's nowhere for passing up. So I'm, I've got to do it on foot or on bike. There's plenty of room to jump out of the way. Just depends if there's nutters driving. So this is called Top Lane. And above me is where I normally walk, up on right up on the hills. Um, and everywhere through these bushes, be able to see Nylon Mound, where I climbed. I got up the top, there were a lot of cows up there. And I decided to uh, not stay too long um, or explore where the cows were because it's ju it just wasn't worth it really. But doing this I might see different farms, different views, um, all that. So I'm going to turn off here actually so I can get a picture from here of that uh, scene. Over and out. Another video, there's an island. Getting further away now and at different angles. I'm taking lots of photos, different angles. As I walk up this little top lane. <clears throat> so far it hasn't been too bad for traffic. There we've got uh, Crook's Peak over there, look. Right in the distance there. And we've got um, the Mendip Hills. Sheep Shelf Hill. And then you'll see a little bit of... Um, Brent Knoll in the distance there, just the top of it, which I was up the other week. All these places I point out, I've actually climbed uh, Glastonbury, not this year, but of course I've done it loads in the past. Um, I will do it, but um, I, I, there's no great rush for me to do that. Um, not yet, but I will get it done in the next <sighs> couple of months, I should imagine. I'll do that before the winter really sets in. Um, and while I've still got Alberta. So anyway, I'm going up this country lane. I've got... Oh, what did I say I've got? How many hours have I got? Let's just have another look at the clock again. Just under three hours. About, say, two and a half hours I've got. And I should be able to get there. 
following this route hopefully unless it wiggles and darts and dicks, you know what I mean if it does all that I might have to charge across somebody's field to get onto the road but uh, so it's a lovely little lane and uh, some lovely little cottages on the way and uh, lots of gated properties as well private keep out type places where people live that have this chance to live out in this piece blackberries are still out Nyland, there we are, like just through the bushes there. I had to go around the other side, which you can't see from this side, of course, to climb it. I couldn't see another road that was actually going to be coming. So I did do the right thing by going up Latches Lane. Because, um... There wasn't any direct route there. Might have been a drove here or there. Otherwise, you'd have to go across fields. There was a way across fields. But every field had a big herds in it. So, no way. No way. I mean, I took a risk. Getting to the top of an island when there was a herd up there. They gave me space. I was able to get to the trick point. I didn't encroach on them. I took some views and then I turned, turned back and gently came down, a safer route down than what I did up. And uh, there was one stray cow, a little young heifer, obviously lost all the others and was, but was eating, busy eating and munching. Now going this way now, so I didn't bring a map with me, I've sort of got a rough idea in my head that this would bring me out at something called Bradley Cross which I've come across a lot when I've done parts of the top there and I've walked the top on the top and Bradley Cross is where you can either go up through the woods and down to Cheddar or you can carry on the top road so there we have Nylon Mound again lovely view from here isn't it with the sun coming out at last See, if I had Alberta, I needn't panic or rush. I could get back when I wanted. I could um, have some fish and chips. It makes you... Uh, it does keep you on your toes, mind, when you've got a... Old shed there, look. Little barn or a little garage. It does keep you on your toes when you've got to keep marching. Lots of cider country around here now. Places you can sit outside and drink cider. Little warehouses as well for various things. Um, Quantock Hill's right in the distance. I'm hoping to get over there sometime in the middle of the week to Porlock and Minehead area for a couple of days away. Um, I'm just going out today just to keep my rib cage moving and, and my muscles in my legs moving. Like I said, I don't often do pathways, but when it's a small lane and there's still places to get out of the way, and hopefully they won't drive like maniacs, not this time of day, I don't mind. But of course, when you've never done it before, you don't know. It might think, oh... Am I nearly there yet? Yeah. And then it goes on and on. And then, because it's a little lane joining communities, it might duck and dive. And uh, you might be up and down. Uh, I think I can hear something now. I just have to duck into the hedge there. If anything too big comes. Right, over and out again. Right, I've just managed to see a break on to top of Nyland Hill. And I can see the trick point and a cow, look. That could be the same cow that greeted me earlier. Look, see the trick point? There's a the cow. That 
was good. I didn't know. I have. I haven't walked up here in my life up this lane. I'm doing at the moment. So I didn't know if I'd be able to see this or not. So it's quite good, isn't it? It's a lovely view actually from here of the mound. Look how far I've zoomed in. It's a lovely view that was. I've taken various pictures of that scene. And I'm really enjoying this walk actually. Now the sun's come out, I'm really, I feel quite relaxed. Um, <sighs> I've got, a, I've got um, a couple of hours um, to uh, breathe. Um, here we've got Cheddar down there. I can see Cheddar Church down there. Look, St Andrews. There's the top of it, and there's the Axbridge and Cheddar Reservoir behind. Axbridge is over there with its church and there's the hills up there, Shoot Shelf Hill, Crooks Peak, look, beautiful view from here. Like I said, I'm really enjoying this walk, following these little lanes, it's beautiful and peaceful, it really is. And it looks to me like there's a lovely route. And yes, there is, there's a sign look. There's actually a, a path up and down that I never knew about. If I remember rightly, this will take you up and you can follow. Um, I've seen this route, but never never taken it. Yeah, this will take you up, up onto the the hills there. Yeah, but I'm, gonna, I'm quite happy following this lane at the moment, but I'm really glad I've... By walking, you see... As opposed to being in a car and driving straight by, you pick up all these features. And look at that lovely little track down there. That take you down to the main road if you want to pick up the bus if you needed. My goodness, oh, but look at this view, everyone. Look at this beautiful view. This is Sheila, September the sixth or seventh, two thousand and nineteen. We've had a break in the weather, and I thought, get out, girl. Get out. Oh, you can. Cheddar Quarry up there. Shoot Shelf Hill in the aerial. Wavery Down, Crooks Peak, Axbridge. Cheddar, there's Cheddar down there, and that's what I'm heading for. We'll be coming across a place called Bradley Cross in a minute. There's a big bunch of cows down there. Um, all nestling together. It's a big herd in there, isn't it? Calves, young cows. That looks like the bull. You can always tell the bull. He's got like a big lump on the top of his head. Oh, yeah, so I feel there's lots to always explore. Like I said, there's a way up now. If I had a couple more hours, you can bet your life, I'd say, right, go up there. Get up on the top and go back to Cheddar Down. But no, I'm at the moment I'm quite enjoying following this quiet little lane. I'm quite enjoying it. So uh, I'm seeing different views. So yeah, I'm quite happy. I'm quite happy with that. There was a lovely view of Nyland Mound a minute ago that I got. I captured and I got um, the trick point with a cow on it. So it was, that was really good. Right, over and out while I take some more photos.